one of my one of my first acts as Taoiseach will be to reduce the number of junior ministers from 20 down to 12. We, we, don't, we don't need 20 junior ministers and the country can't afford them. Yeah. Equally, the country cannot afford the billions wasted on health on a health system that was never reformed in any fundamental way. My message tonight is simple. Despite the best efforts of nurses and doctors and all those who work on the front line, our health system is broken. And this government have no idea how to fix it. The health service needs a radical change and Fine Gael will deliver that change and we will deliver a health system that is concerned solely with people's medical needs and not with the money that they have in their pocket. Yeah. We, we will end the two-tier health system. We have devised and worked on a plan based on the best practice in the Netherlands and Canada. It will eliminate trolleys in A&Es. It will slash waiting lists and end the current health divides that denies fair treatment to the less well-off in our society. Our goal is clear, to give Ireland a world-class health service where everyone is treated equally, regardless of income, and where the patient is central to that service. Fine Gael will ensure, Fine Gael will see to it that the people of Ireland get the services that they pay for and that they deserve. Now, whatever decisions have to be made next Tuesday, in these difficult times, they must not, they must not destroy the spirit of communities and the voluntary care provided for the voiceless, the defenceless, the aged and the intellectually challenged. I see, examples, I see examples of this wonderful care every day all over Ireland. Three million hours of loving care provided by people every week who receive no thanks and little support from this state. No bureaucrat sitting with a pen should destroy that generosity of spirit of the Irish people. No calculator. No calculator can place a value on this. The government that has destroyed our economy cannot be allowed to destroy our humanity. And no government led by me will allow it to happen. And irrespective of what else has to give next week, this should not. Kushishtakar <laughs> Daibrig. Daibrig. Daibrig and Yamakadini. Rodian Agus Roada. Kungal Yigfer. Gadasnoch and Kogashin Arisht. Lanhamij Lakun of Day. Araig Le Shiachon Shasavach Ashahamach. It was out of the need for peace that the European Union was born. Europe has been vital to Ireland's development as a respected and influential member of the international community. I want a reformed and democratic Europe that is effective in being a key driver of economic recovery and future prosperity. This Europe must be given the architecture to deal with a population of 500 million people. 
That's why Fine Gael has and will continue to support the reforms in the Lisbon Treaty and we will lead the campaign for its approval by the Irish people later this year. Now, in the meantime, the people will vote on June the 5th to elect Ireland's members of the European Parliament. It is more important than ever that we elect strong and effective MEPs. Fine Gael's membership of the largest political family, the European People's Party, gives our MEPs a unique place of influence when the important decisions are being taken. That's why I urge you all to vote for Gay Mitchell in Dublin, for Colin Burke and Sean Kelly in the South, for Mairead McGuinness and John Paul Phelan in the East, and for Jim Higgins and Joe O'Reilly in the Northwest. And in doing so, you will be choosing Ireland's strongest voices in Europe. No other nation, no other country has ever been as willing to sacrifice for a better future than the Irish. We have moved from being navvies to being nation builders. We benefited from thousands of mothers and fathers who scrimped and saved so that their children could continue to build our country. I make no pretense and no promise that we can instantly fix the problems that we will inherit. But I do promise you this, that we will free the potential that at the start of the last century enabled our people to come through oppression and recession to build a great democracy. Let the people know the truth and the country is safe, said Lincoln. Well, I will tell them the truth and we will keep our country safe. <laughs>